Welcome to the Liberal Buzz Show. I'm your host, Denise Dory. I will just have have some, the theme of this show is going to more or less be white, Russian white supremacy hacks, anti-fascist movement type stuff. Because we're, and there's also problems with our TVs watching us. So we're going to, it's, uh, I took a video of this some time ago and I, it might have been removed, I don't know, but I'd like you to see this. This is what was happening with Comcast's operating system. Um, my cousin was saying his TV didn't work when he was trying to help me record an, another TV show from just putting my camera in front of the TV. You can see me standing in front of the TV with my camera. And what happened was the TV was actually taking videos, of, was watching us. Uh, <laughs> it's part of the, so soon after Comcast changed their operating system after that and so here it is what we were watching we went through trying to there we are <laughs> you're supposed to sh not show it that's not supposed okay, to be there on. okay something's wrong uh stories that should be that type of radio those materials like okay. uh, lumber and all the different stuff when they go so that means your your smart TV is watching you. No, let's see the. It only stayed up for a couple seconds. It was a glitch. See the reflection of the light, and then you'll see us. Tun ta da! insurance by the first of the year. Every time you go to that party screen, it might be tomorrow. Come get ready. Because it's, it's whatever the TV is looking at. In other words, your room is being filmed by your TV. <laughs> they kept happening oh, no, over and over. So the big thing is uh, the, the that was weird. After Obamacare was in sales. That's all right. I just want to. I want a record of what I'm doing. Oi. So there's that. Yeah, you're, that means that your TV is watching you. I'm, I'm, you think I'm kidding now? <laughs> yeah, and uh, so, see, the TV was working just only too well, wasn't it? <laughs> and uh, see, we hippies you know, and blacks, we, we hated the FBI back in... You know, the days of COINTELPRO, and, and uh, there's, there's such a thing as stingrays. Now, stingrays 
uh, are what the police are, are, they're not supposed to use them without a warrant, but you know, they do, of course. And it just scoops up all the signals. And that's what I'm talking about. These are devices. And uh, my, in fact, my computer won't even log into the, the BayVac network because it says there's already a computer with that address on it. So that's cute, huh? And you could, back in the old days, I mean, you could hear the radio on the phone. And we, that was a Captain Crunch days, you know. You dial 0046, and if you heard a squealing noise, that means you weren't being tapped. But if you heard a busy signal, they were listen, you know, they were listening. And if you didn't, you know, if it just rang, they weren't listening, but you were tapped. So that's what the, <laughs> there's a lot, I can't go on about it. I could go on all, all day about that, but that's old technology. And, but now we've got this thing called the onion router. I've only got 20 minutes or so. And it's T-O-R, and you download it. And the Russians and the GOP, uh, those are those, the white supremacists. They've been targeting, all, they've also been targeting my, uh, my, you know, Facebook and Twitter since 2016 or even, you know, before that. And so Norton Symantec is also hacked. So don't use that. Do not use Norton Symantec. I'm serious. I am not kidding you. Uh, you if you install it on your computer, you'll st your computer won't work about the next day after you install it. And then they'll, you'll get all this fake tech support phone calls. And, uh, you know, they're probably trying to get money. I don't know, because I, I threatened them, you know, come to my block, you know. <laughs> come on, we'll talk. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've even had uh, computer repairmen try to get me to pr install Casper Sky, which, Kaspersky, which was actually, you know, Russian software to skim our information. And so, you know, I was too, I did, I of course didn't, even back then. And, you know, see, Putin and the Russian Trump's white supremacists put up fake Antifa fascist sites and events to get the IP addresses and locations and emails. So don't visit antifascism.org. That's a fake site. And Russians work with the USA. White supremacist holes to, uh, to target target uh, liberals and like ourselves so activists they don't they want activists to be silenced and now we've got this no no uh, now what bugs me a lot is we've got this uh, lack of net neutrality in some states so they want to really slow down the internet for some people and that's just another form of suppression of information really so, uh, uh, see, I got a bunch of friend requests on Russian time, and and I even and the, and the calls I get for the for the uh, fake oh what, what do you call it uh, the tech support for Norton fake tech support for calls though they have South Asian accents like India or maybe I guess I didn't ask them where they were from. But uh, so, and then I was getting news bots on my Twitter, so they would. Uh, this is another thing you look for, is the news bots. You know, or uh, another thing is when you scroll down to someone who uh, follows you on Twitter, scroll down and see if it says "just setting up my first tweet," and they only got, they've got 500 the people they're following and 20 followers. Don't follow them back. You might even want to block them. And. Uh, so, now if you set your phone, it can be set to airplane mode. Uh, you know, your phone, uh, sometimes I just want to put my phone in the oven. As the thing has a microphone, it has a camera, so I just put tape over it, you know. And you set your location to off, of course, you know. And I don't even like to check my my uh, messages on Facebook, you know, the Facebook Messenger, and definitely don't share that. <laughs> so, say, oh, share with 10 people these prayers, just don't. 
So, um, see, people, they already track us online. The corporations do. And alt-writer tracking in, uh, IP addresses and location data of anti-fascist and Black Lives Matter activists as well. So Google, uh, they cleaned up ads on Google, but um, cookies and adware and fingerprinting target ads. So um, privacy badger installed. You can protect another is disconnect or you block origin. You can also run all three tracker blockers at the same time. Now, I've never tried to do this. I'm not telling you. You can open an incognito window, but you don't have an autofill feature, of course. <laughs> and if you really want to, you can encrypt your phone, but boy, what a nightmare. And if you uh, have it texted to your account, if you forget your social media password, uh, it can be taken over by impersonators, and they can, it can even impersonate your phone number and take it over. <laughs> That's creepy, too. Send you emails uh, saying, "Has your, has your e, uh, is this really your phone? And I don't know. I, I haven't answered those emails. They're creepy. But I got one. You know. And if you say, like, you have a, if you forgot this social media password and you had it texted to your account you, and whoever took over your phone number called it your cell phone company got it locked out of this phone and social media account if you search for your name to see if your data brokers have it it may put you on the list so if you're looking to see if some if you're on a list just looking for yourself on the list might get you put on the list <laughs> so there's that now there's a few browsers I took these notes at the uh, anarchist book fair so there's a few browsers that uh, protect your IP number and receive only emails so see because you know the three levels in the encryption for the dark web you know and the TLR the onion router you, know, you have to download that I guess we have a huge surveillance in infrastructure though and w they work with our street cameras so there's that what we're saying is that is an invasion of privacy in the uh, first and uh, first amendment rights if you're in public but what if you're you've got your phone and it, and your phone's watching you and your TV's watching you that what so it seems like the tech companies are actually looks like they're running the world more than the politicians sometimes you know <laughs> doesn't it <laughs> so let's see So uh, in California, we have the you know the, we have a huge surveillance infrastructure uh, with street cameras here. In California, we have the best laws that cops can't use a stingray like what's on the on the screen there. They can't use those legally. Although, I mean, really, do you really think they're not going to? So. But they're not in, admissible in court, but they can use it to set you up in other ways. And the federal laws do not protect you. And in California, you know, the co cops need a warrant to get your phone records in the first place. So that's, that helps. Also, uh, law enforcement, they can uh, subpoena to search devices in unencrypted besides a complex camera network. Because in California, they need a, net, a warrant to use a Stingray. So, and body cameras, you know, if warranted events, you know, automatic license plate readers, cell phone tower warrants, fake cell phone towers, Stingrays for protests, or anywhere that you know so you're if you step outside your house you're in public you know so the latest phones are the eight latest iPhones you know the Apple iPhones they're encrypted but and Androids should be encrypted by going to the security system you know I tried that and I hate it <laughs> Ugh. I'd rather just put up with having <laughs> Put up with all the nonsense of you know hackers and just get a new phone every eight months or so, and 
rather than because it takes it's just time you know time is of the effort, essence having to type in a password 40 times just to send an email <laughs> and you know like even the phone I've got it doesn't shut down completely it never did so I just you just remove the battery so that's what I have to do so uh, now, one thing is uh, urban shield and police militarization. You know, we, we've got to get the politicians to stop funding that. You know, and my next show is probably going to be about open source voting software, so look for that soon. And that, that has something to do with it. Russia, you know, Microsoft is very secretive, so they, you know, they don't share information with the public. It, they're, all their voter software is proprietary. So we don't really know who we're electing, and that just helped Putin. I mean, I've told you this before. Putin was knocked me off the voter rolls. A lot of my Democratic friends, <laughs> yeah. So, by the way, oh, back to this. Um, now, if you've got airplane mode on your phone, on your phone, GPS is is it's to receive only. So, you can let set your location to off and. And sharing your p photos to social media, you might want to post them after the event is over. <laughs> you know, it's better because then they, they just—that's uh, how. And also, cops will just infiltrate a, a movement and, and a protest. They'll just—they'll just, they'll just infil infiltrate it. They'll just dress like the protesters and act. act uh, use violent behavior to. Get the public to turn uh, public opinion against the protesters and the anti-fascist movement. So, I have to look for that, huh? So, now I've got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I said, your smart TV's a window. Oh, my friend said he's being spied on anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, I'd like to tell him, Rami, if you don't have a smart TV, I know he doesn't. He's smart. I do. And let's see, I had something else I was going to read to you. I just got to get to it. Oh, did you know that a rapper Equipto was arrested in the Mission District confrontation with the police? You got to support him. So if you're on Facebook, go to, go to that. Fa there's a Facebook page to support him. And I appreciate your time. Please tune in. I guess the next show is October the uh, the fourth, October the fourth, and probably have Brent Turner on next time. So stay safe, and thanks for watching. Try yourself. That is unnecessary, but never fear.